so let's continue talking about functions we will be talking about a very important function called case and uh, a less important function called nvl nvl is very prominent in oracle um, but not in other databases just to uh, compensate the oracle developers how you folks have used nvl but for whatever case we use nvl we can use case also so typically in programming languages we use this condition uh, to compare the uh, uh, a particular uh, uh, variable to to a value and take certain actions something like this if condition x else if condition y else z something like this okay but in uh, um, sql uh, we don't have if condition instead we typically use case and if you want to look at the syntax of the case you can say describe function case so you can see here case a a is typically a column name and when b then c when d then e which means that if a equal to b then c if uh, a equal to d then e else f okay the, this is how you write if you want to just compare with equal uh, uh, with equal but there are non equal operators also like less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to etc even though it is not documented here uh, uh, in hive uh, it supports uh, uh, even the other non equal operators okay so let's look at the examples uh, so for the example i will be using orders uh, data there is a field called order status and first i am getting all different orders we have order statuses we have in orders there are nine order statuses such as complete closed uh, pending uh, uh, suspected fraud uh, on hold so on and so forth there are nine of them so instead of uh, uh, dealing uh, with uh, uh, all nine uh, nine of these uh, statuses separately if the management want to um, group them some of these related statuses into uh, into uh, some category and if they want to take an action on that uh, then we can um, uh, use this case when operator and we can convert uh, these uh, these nine different uh, order statuses into lesser number of order statuses which are uh, more relevant to take any decisions for example if the management say that i want to take a particular action on all complete and closed orders the same type of action on all complete and closed orders and then uh, uh, i want to consider on hold payment review pending pending payment processing all of them as pending pay, pending orders and if i want to do take care of particular action and uh, ca uh, uh, cancelled and a suspected fraud i want to consider one category if that is the case we can use case select case order status is the column in this case um, we can uh, use when and then closed or complete okay um in if it is closed or complete then i want to say no action i don't want to take any, if the management want to take a, uh, no action on them just we can return no action to the application and, it, and the application will behave in a particular manner and whenever you use case when we have to use the end at the end uh, so that we can move on with the remaining syntax for the query so let me first test it out limit 10 and hit enter okay we cannot uh, actually use uh, or like this in some databases it work but in high we doesn't so 
so this is the query i am writing so when closed then no action similarly when complete then also no action so let me test this out before moving further okay i should not use tabs okay uh, tabs did not work properly so you can see here it worked when uh, order status is closed uh, it says no action when it is complete it takes it also says and uh, then also it says no action similarly if you want to compare all these things processing pending payment pending uh, uh, payment review on hold then let's say pending action whatever it is i, I just want to use some uh, some uh, something here that's why i'm saying like that typically it will be much more uh, uh, it will be in my, uh, business context so this one also i want to treat it as pending action So all these are pending action. Uh, else, risky. Okay, so this is how I want to categorize. And then, uh, just to uh, to see the original data, we will also say order status then case. and then we can copy paste you can see here closed no action pending payment risky oh, okay there's a typo here that's why okay now you can see pending payment pending action uh, processing also should be pending action so i have to fix this so that's why we should act always do sanity checks with the right amount of data so that functionally it is correct processing is supposed to be in pending action it should not be risky you can see here now if you want to um use non equal operator uh, like this what you can do is instead of using column name here you can say let's say uh, for both pending and pending payment you want to use like operator okay for each and every um, uh, for each and every value you have to use order status which is the column name earlier we just have to specify order status in one place but here we are using uh, uh, non equal operators okay if we are using non equal operators such as uh, in clause for closed and complete okay and then i can delete this and then order status in on hold or payment review or 
pending or pending payment or processing okay then pending action so i can delete uh, these three else risky so in this case you can use either boolean operators or uh, in clause to compare with multiple values you can use like if you want to compare with patterns you can use uh, greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to all those uh, uh, all those conditions without any issues see here so if you just want to compare with the um, equal operator instead of repeating your column name uh, multiple times you can just say case column name and then you can uh, uh, define when and uh, values and then um, uh, action like that you can uh, specify as many times as you want um, and if you want to use non equal operator then you you should not use case column name instead you can directly use case when and then you can use uh, uh, other operators than equal as part of your case when uh, case when else and end uh, function so this is also a function but the syntax is a bit different it's not a conventional function so nvl is a special type of case function if a particular value is null and if you want to take a default action uh, otherwise you, you, if you want to um, get whatever uh, is there in the column name then we use nvl okay so for example uh, in this case let's say there are some records uh, where order status is null okay so instead of printing null let's say i want to um, say act uh, status missing okay and then from orders limit 100 so if order status is null then you will get status missing otherwise whatever you have in order status you will get that so this is nothing but same as case when order status is null then uh, what is that we give we give status missing else get order status itself we can write like this also right so instead of writing this much big code we we just say nvl of order status comma status missing if order status is null then it will get the status missing otherwise it will get the order status order status itself you can see here it will give the same result so nvl is nothing but a special type of case function um, and it is inherited from oracle in other databases you might not see that okay so that being said we will conclude uh, functions uh, uh, um, uh, at this time and we will explore more functions as we cover more advanced topics of SQL.